Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have picked out some more papers to use in my fishing journal and I wanted to show you along with I found well my my husband got something delivered from Otterbox and it came in this really cool packaging and so you know, I'm almost tempted to make this a one signature journal just because I have this really cool paper that just says fishing to me. Um, anyway, so I, I'm going to be thinking about that. So what I had was I had this from Stonewood Lodge. So it is their Come Visit Us. I had this these are all in my stash i had this book on largemouth bass so and it's color photographs and really cool and then i have the orvis fly fishing guide also this one is black and white pictures and then it also has drawings and it has story pages that are really awesome. So those are what I had to choose from. I also had the Hey Girl, Hey You, and Hey, I think Hey Boy um, paper pads from Basic Gray. These I've been trying, I've been going through using them. So, um, and then some other things that I had in my fishing stash. So, um, so this is the index page from the Bass Book. We have some lures here. Look at this, the big largemouth bass there. And we have this. I also have permission to put the drawing or painting that my grandson, who is nine, did of the largemouth bass. It is amazing, and so that will be in here as, or I mean, these are all possibilities of things that will go in this journal. Look at the fishing, the reels. Very, that's really cool. <laughs> so then this is from the black and white book. I thought this might be able to be a page like that. We'll see. So this is the story. This is um, how to to um, cast. So we've got that, then, and those. Isn't that cool? I think it's so cool. And imitating insects. So this is, you know, how you how you build a fly. Hook size and style. There they are fishing. Okay, this is from a calendar. From Boys Town. This is from my stash. So there's a fishing pole and a rainbow trout and a and a creel. And this is from my stash. And this I love it when they have something on the back because I can you know we can do something there very cool and I had some stickers in here this is from a book from I think it's from the 30s called the bold fisherman Going to the Woods is Going Home, John Muir. This is from a set of cards that I had. This is from A Farmer's Almanac. Then I had these and those. And then I have I have this that I had put in there so and I've already cut the top of it off 
so okay so those are some more items that we have to add to what we had and um, again I had planned for this to be a two signature book but I really I want to see if I can even bend this nicely because that'll kind of tell me if if I can if I can get a good fold on it and then you know we could put it could have how big is it let's see how big it is it is uh, it's right at 11 inches so um, how, how big is it this way under that see okay um, we're gonna have to cut down pages if we do it this way so I think I'll save this for another journal <laughs> Sorry about that, false alarm. But I thought it was so cool. Okay, okay, so we're back to the messy desk. Uh, we do still have the fishing uh, digital kit, which is, well, this is one of the, the large tag pages and includes these guys and um, several other amazing pages. So it is still on sale in the Etsy shop through Friday, which is today, the 21st. And you get over 30 page files. So let's go ahead and, and we're gonna add some more pages. And I think we can just, this can go in as it is, okay? Let's see how well it will fit. What did I do with the? <laughs> the page. Well, we'll use this one. I'm not going to put this one in this, but this is one of the pages that you do get in this. Um, in this one. Okay, so I just want to see if this will fit or if we have to do something to it. You might have to cut the edges which is fine. And I think we'll go ahead and put it in just like it is. Make sure that we can do that. You know what, let's go ahead and add a little bit of washi. So the coupon code for 50% off that in the Dear Julie, Julie Etsy shop is Go Fish. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's gotta be an end, sorry. There we go, we'll just, oh, we're at the end. We're at the end of that roll. Okay. I'm gonna come over here and just put a little on. Okay, so um, so these pages we're gonna want to cover with something else. This one here and this one here so once we get them inside they might be a good um, pocket like okay so now yes this this one has one side and this one has two sides okay so I think because we want these two pages to stay together, so when we put this in the journal, this needs to be in the in the center. Okay, so I really think this is cool. It's got your tackle box checklist here. Really cute picture of the boy and the dog. So we've already set up some 
cool fishing pages. Ooh, I like, I, I, I want to use this. I'm almost thinking this might be cool in the front when we get, okay, we're not using this page this time. Just so we don't forget that we have one. Oh, here it is. Here's our, here are our pages. So we have the boys. I like that. This will become a pocket and we will wait and put it in, um, actually attach it once the, um, once we've sewn it in. Okay. And then on this side, it can also be a pocket. Very cool. Okay. Um, now we have this. I really like, you know what though? I don't want to, okay, I'll save that. Okay. We have our little boys fishing. We want to make sure that eventually we get to use that. Okay, so here we have um, this. I think what we'll do with this is we'll cut it up and we want to see it's a caddis fly life cycle is what it is. There's not really much else on there. Okay. And how are we? Okay, so we'll come down and cut this off. Okay, but I think we're going to be okay to fold this, and that'll give us some um, bug pictures on both sides. We'll have journaling space there and that. And then this is fishing words, which is kind of cool. So that gives us that page. Here we have hooks. Okay, we'll pull out the we'll pull out the cutter after all. Glossy accents, you can go back up into your home. And here we have, let's just make sure that we don't, oh, we're fine. You know what, though, this could, okay, let's go this way. As long as we're under eight and a half. Okay. So what we're gonna do with this one is we will cut at the hook. And this is gonna give us a full page on one side and then this page will cut go on the on the the other page on the other side. Okay, so so this is just creative folding for your for your journal. Yeah, we're 
right on. Okay. Come along. There we go. That gives us a hook page. Okay, so next we have this page here with the picture of the fisherman, and I'm just going to cut that out, have it ready. And I am going to save these word pages because they are, you know, they're fishing words, so. I think that's kind of cool. I did use um, green book page pockets from the big green book. So we'll save these in the saving pile. There we go. Those are those are ready. Okay, so here we have these. And I'm going to cut it across. And still think about how... So this is a dry fly and this is a wet fly. And some more fishing words. Okay, next page. We're still in black and white pages. Okay, so this is the story. There should be. Okay, so this goes. So I think I might do something a little different because um, it tells a little story here. So I'm thinking maybe fold these in half. Okay. So, but I have to. I don't know if this is. I just don't know if this is. Gonna fold this one. Oh, this one will have to go this way. There's that. Okay, our problem here I'll go ahead and cut this down. For them to be in order it would go this one, this one, this one, this one. So, well, I'm thinking this could go in a pocket. So we could have this, this come out like this, and then this could be in the pocket. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, paper clip these pages together. that okay so next we have some flies on some black and white paper and okay. so 
this can just be a page. Okay, now we're into the colored the colored pages. These are from the large bath large mouth bass book. Okay, so this I'll go ahead and put that in the pile. Oh, I found this that I might be able to use. I thought because even though it's a flower, it kind of looked like a a fly when I when I was going through stuff. Saw that. Okay. Oh, this one goes down and it clicks. get the, the edge off all of these. And we're going to come back in and come up with some ways of using these pages. So you can see all these awesome images that we'll have we're going to use them along with the um, the digital kit and we're going to do two signatures is what my plan at this time is what my plan is so I'm going to want two of these colored pages I think for the center of the two signatures. Look at that. I think that's going to be a great like side pocket tuck thingy. It's kind of fun. I've actually been when I was going through, I was reading reading stuff. Thought these would make great um, embellishments on tags. This is just going to be a page. And if I have like some tissue paper or something, we'll be able to attach that. Okay, so now this, I want to cut off this film strip. I thought that was really cool. It's on both sides. I liked that. Then we have to decide are the best pictures on here. And that is that is all the um, that is all those. Then we have also these um, we have some pages from Some cardstock pages. Okay, that we'll be able to use as well. Okay, so these can, there's not really much on them, so we'll throw those away. And this is just going to get folded in half. I mean, we could fold it into a pocket. Pockets are always good. So I'm using my measuring to make sure that I'm inside my eight and a half. Okay, so this is going to be an easy pocket to um, come back in and decorate, which I, I like that. There's that. I really think these are going to be, I don't know if I should fussy cut them.
that might be great tag um, tag bags. So. I don't know. Let's try. Go ahead. We fussy. I'm just gonna fussy cut one. goes up there. Okay. So if we grab this. And we can save this because we can cut this off and put them, the name of them, with the type they are. I'm going to cut this down here. Okay. Yeah, I think it might be really kind of cool to just have these be ready to be tags. And that could be our next video. Okay, because I think there's a couple other things that I'm, and these could be the background for them, for some of them, and then put them on some type of card stock or like these done like this and then they still have their number so we know which one it is and I can use those for some of the, the words okay. okay I like that Then we have this big, big guy. And I just think this is going to be an awesome, like, pocket tuck thing. So I'm going to cut it as it is. <laughs> talking about pockets, you guys. I'm saying it's going to be a pocket, and it's talking about pockets. <laughs> okay, so that... That will be that. And then this. This is a great image. So we have this image already ready. This is going to be a center. Or, you know what? It could be a pocket. But it could be it could be in the center and be a pocket. Cut it off at just um, just right at eight and a half. And we'll leave it like this, but it's gonna go probably in the center, and then this might be able to be a background for a tag. I was thinking this one could be an an envelope. So let's see how it's 
seven and three quarters. Okay, so we're gonna have to cut it down. So let's go down to six. There's six inch inches, and that gives us. Oh, there's that. Might want that. Six by sorry I'm off the edge here, you guys. But there's a six by six for an envelope. Here's a selection of Spinners, I think they call those. Ooh, 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 look at. You know what these would be good for? These might be good to go like, oh, look at that, look at that fish though. He's what would be on the other side. Okay, he's gonna be a pocket. So how am I going to make him a pocket? I'm going to cut this bottom piece off, the white, and he he's going to end up being a center of the other. Okay, so now the under the eight inches. So we flip up a couple spinners, and then we have these. And since he's going to be the front, I'm going to go ahead and I'm folding this so that we get the full set of, of spinners on one side. Because his full face, I'm going to, he'll be in the center of, or he'll be a flip out or something. Okay, and then we've got spinners on both sides. Here is another one that I thought could be a pocket. Okay, so we've got to measure and measure it here. And then we can use these on tags or something as well. Measure it here. Let's go with six and a half. Okay, these can go, this can go over in that package or set. So I'm trying to get this in the center if I can. Fish. Okay, so there's another pocket. Next we have some some worms and a big fish on this side. I think that it'll be okay. Oh, let's go this way. So we get our whole fish, even though he's kind of at a funny angle. Just go ahead and fold this one in half. Sorry. We'll just fold this one in half. There we go. Then we'll come to this one. So, fishing journal, you could tell your, have a place to tell your fishing stories. 
might be kind of fun. I might even have to do that. I, I do have fishing stories. So this could be, um, you remember I talked about that some of those pages need to be covered with something. So this might be able to just go and cover a page. So I'm going to keep it just like it is. I do like this. Uh, I don't know. That's a little more modern looking than I, I want. So, okay. So we have, oh yeah, this. This is really cool. Okay. So. What's the other side? The other side is talking about how rain affects fishing. Okay, so there's that. And then pull out our measuring. Cool. Oh, I was hoping we wouldn't lose all of the sunset. And we don't. Okay. So that becomes a page. But I want that the rain the rain information for the other side. I wanted to be able to come down and um, and put these on this page, so the words will be be there. So it will be um, you will get the the information. I don't want the information on that one to get lost. So because I thought it was kind of cool. There we go. So. We have gone through our magazines and some of the other stuff that I have and picked our, out our pages. Now the, the, the other thing that I would do is um, go ahead and <laughs> start getting an idea of what I want for the two signatures. So these are... So let's go through our who are we going to put where we've got these pages that we can use I have ledger paper in the other room if I want to add some okay so there's those real quick okay so oh you know what here we go okay so we do have some ledger paper so I'll want one in each and this is just the ledger paper from Staples the four And I buy them when they're like, buy one, get one for half off or whatever. So I'm going to want two of those. I'm put those back where we got it. And then I have, this is a composition book that I've taken apart. And it gives me some larger pages. I want two for each. So there's one, two, one, two. I wonder if I should make this like four small signatures since I have done some. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So these are going to have to get cut down when we get to that place. And we're ready to cut stuff down. 
so ledger paper um, I really actually like this is what I do okay cuz I, I have a thing about the lines not being the right direction it's just it's just me it's just my thing so I'm gonna cut the numbers off of and the holes off of the one side because I think it's kind of cool to have like list places in my in my journals okay so another thing I'm gonna come back in I'm gonna cut this this piece off and then I need to measure And I'm, I'm like a little bit above nine inches. So I'm gonna come down and take it to eight and a half. And I'm gonna cut that, okay? So that's one. And now give me a page. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go just above the one cut that off and this is just how I like to do this you don't have to you can do it your way I did it my way okay. so that gives us a list of that we can do a list of 39 things um, then I'm gonna come in and I am going to make sure my fold is good on this I've got two pages here and I am going to cut it right above this first line. Throw those away. I don't I don't need to keep those. Then I'm gonna measure my eight and a half. And you can see these are gonna be too wide, but that's okay because they can be um you know, fold out, flip out, flip out, fold out thingy. Okay, but I do want them both. So, gotta fold my fold so that I get a straight cut. I'm going just ab above this top line here. And turn it over eight and a half inches. Okay. So those are cut to the right place. Then we've got this paper, and it is how wide is it? It's under 11 inches wide, so if we just go and cut it this way at eight and a half, we're gonna have this and that. I like that. Okay, that was Yes, I'm gonna just oh you know what? I can't cut this many on this cutter. But I can cut two, right? This is um, computer paper that was sent to me in Happy Mail from Julie. Julie Red. And so we'll come in and we'll cut this side. At 11. Yep. Now give us that. We used some of that in another thing that we were doing. And then here we're going to go to the eight and a half. We're right around that. And there's that. So that gives us a few of those. We can use. And we could have left it long and brought it 
and had it be a flip, but we didn't. Should have. Okay. Okay. So what other kind of paper we we want? We have one piece of the green paper. We're gonna want at least one more. And so this is the masking paper from. It's either from Office Depot or not Office from. Home Depot or Lowe's and I'm going to go in and cut this at the eight and a half. Okay. Try and get it on here as straight as I can. There we go. that way and cut this down to 11 that way. Okay, that gives us our, our other paper, our other green paper. And then we have, I'm going to go ahead and put these up above because we have um, cardstock to work with next. And of course, we still have these are all the okay, these are all ephemera. Okay, these are the pages from the digital. So we'll want to pick out some of those. There's the ephemera, mini ephemera. Page. Okay, so these are pages. These are ephemera. Put these up with the, that stuff. We still have fun stuff on our table. <laughs> yeah, the messy desk. Okay, so cardstock. So I have this one, and it's 12 inches. So if we wanted it to be eight and a half, we could go ahead and turn this into a pocket. And I like to have a couple of these that are larger pockets in my um, journals. Now this way we need to cut it at 11 inches. I'm going to actually cut it down because I know I'm going to do ten and a half. It'll give me a little more paper here, but also um, it can go towards the end of what we're putting towards the center of the book and um, we won't have to cut it. Okay, so here's Pocket. I think this will um, take the, the images. If we put an image on this pocket or on the other side, I think it will be kind of cool. Okay. So there's, there's a pocket page. is what we have. Okay, I'm not sure about this. I'm thinking that I like these and these that side might I might use it to back ephemera. Okay? So but this will work and Which 
ano. This will give us another large pocket. cut off the one inch. Ten and a half. What we did. Then this one, I think we'll just cut this one. Um, you know what? This could be a flip flop. So let's cut this one at the eight and a half. Okay, eight and a half inches. And okay, that'll give us tags. And then we'll be able to fold a flip flop on one side of that. And we're going to do the same with this one. Okay. So this will be able to be tags, and this will be a flip flop. And then this, I think I might use this for tags. So, um, but when we get to tags, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and put together this flip-flop right here, right now. And... One, two, three, four. There we go. Make sure we're straight. Okay, so this is our full size, full side page right here. And then this is gonna be our flip page. And we're just gonna flip it over make sure that our first one was under five and a half inches okay so that's going to give us our place for our flip-flop and then I did grab some vintage writing paper that I had and I'll go ahead and measure it's really um, technical measuring there. I'm going to bring out our cutter. Line this up down here at the bottom. Give us paper for note paper or something. And then Okay, I usually use like the steno pads and things like that for um for my flip flops, but I'm gonna use this today. Okay. And so let's get a measurement here. It is six and a quarter is what I did. We're gonna fold this in half. 
going to be a double flip flop because as you can see we have we'll have extra pages here and what this does is it makes it okay to me <laughs> to decorate more pages because now I've added some writing pages in so Okay, so I folded it there. It's about between a quarter and a half of an inch away from the inside of the gutter. Go ahead, we can use our old one because it's got the lid on it, if I can undo it. <laughs> okay, using the fabric tack, and that is, well, not gonna come out. trying to use this bottle up. So we're using the fabric tack and I do that primarily because on videos I want stuff to dry really fast. Okay, so I know I have two here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the gutter. I'm gonna use the fold to be able to help me line it up. Okay. If you have a decoration or anything on the paper that you're putting inside, you want to make sure that you're you're in the right orientation for it. I don't this time. Sometimes I do. So go ahead and add glue down that little spine. We're going to put the lid back on. Put it upside down over there. Come back in because this is a double. Line up. And lay it down. Okay, so our flip flop is ready to be a part. And you see we've got all those pages and this here is still available real estate. So, um, so there's one. And so this one, we're going to have the back page be the one, two, three, four, five. I'm doing like just right around five inches because then this will be able to be placed anywhere in the book. One, two, three, four. A little, a little bit inside. Okay. So we're going to use that as our guide. Line up the edge. And then fold from the outside, pushing it in. Outside, pushing it in. You'll have um, a better chance of having it be where it's supposed to be. Okay, now from the other side, we're gonna just bring it in. I wanna make sure that you're, you can do it like I did last time where I folded it over, like a fold over, like a purse. But this time I was kind of going more for the look. I wanted like that much to be over here. Okay, you see why you fold from the outside? Fold or push from the outside going in so that you're you don't end up out of whack. Okay, so um, do this again. Cutting up our our paper. I don't want to cut our lines. Because sure. sometimes we didn't cut this at the exact 
um, eight and a half because maybe the way the orientation of the paper was or we didn't want to cut something out or something or that you know that kind of thing so um, yeah so I'll measure I'll measure on the actual paper okay so I've I fold it in half, then I'm gonna come back in and fold it over. Okay. Between a quarter and a half of an inch. Then fold it back to your half. left a little in that time. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to come into our crease. Line it up. Fold it down, check, make sure we're all the way to the crease. Or at least even. <laughs> okay. So and you could just leave it like that and it could be, you know, and you can use note papers for this, like the really pretty note papers and things. That gives you some more. So we've got one more to put in. Just add our glue down the edge. cardstock or something to help you move it over. There we go. Okay. So that's our other flip-flop. So we have one that will come this way. Now if you, it got, I gave it the name flip-flop because sometimes I'll put them right on this edge and it'll literally flip and flop when you, um, when you put it on that inside front page. So, there you go. So you have your extra journaling. So we have two of those. And we have one. And here's our second pocket. Okay, and again, from the outside over, outside over. And on this, I'm going to probably want a bone folder. <laughs> okay, so we have two of those. And that is where I'm going to end this, is we have our papers are picked out and they are ready. Next we'll be putting them together. So, um, yeah, so fishing journal, still working on it. I hope you're enjoying. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. And you will find in the description box down below a playlist of more journal making from Dear Julie Julie. Have a great day. Bye.